Hey everybody, welcome back. Mars Horizon, it's August 1979. I know it's a little late for where we are, but we're doing okay, okay? We got four million in the bank. Another 300,000 on the way every single month. The Hubble Space Telescope is more than halfway done. And we are gonna plan our Mars lander mission. We're not gonna be first to this, but I just, I gotta do it. So we're gonna drop ourselves down uh, onto the surface here. Now, um, I think if I take a look really quick here, we have nav units, nav units, more nav units, right? I, I think I want a better navigational stuff. I want a better navigational uh, unit on this. I realize this does 61% reliability, but hopefully we get better trades with this. I'm going to give this a shot, see how it goes. 884K, rock and roll. So we're going to take and send out uh, a lander to land on the surface of Mars. There you go. So those, those are our four active missions we have now. Phobos Photography, it's there next month. So we'll be around Mars's moon, take some photos of it. It's pretty good. Worth a lot of science. Subsurface Penetrator, also going out that way, uh, out to Mars. And uh, worth a lot of money. It's already on its way. Solar Observatory, we're working on this. We're going to launch this in about five months. It's a research group looking to set up an orbital solar observatory. Uh, so we're going to launch a satellite uh, into Earth orbit to uh, take part in the project. And those are the things we're working on. There you go. Now you're up to date. Now, uh, we are not going to beat everybody on everything. Um, unfortunately, Jupiter, ESA has decided they're going for Saturn and Jupiter. And I feel like that's a little, that's a little ambitious because those two missions, right? Those two missions are like three-year missions. So... Uh, I don't know exactly how many mission slots they have, if that's even a thing for the AI. I don't know. Um, but there's a thing. And all we need to do is finish Mars Prep Robotic Rover first, which is a long, long time from now. Long time from now. But if we can do that, then uh, we get 50% research costs uh, for, mich for uh, missions research for three months. I can speak, I swear. As has been a long day. Uh, I'll tell my kid you said hi. <laughs> Uh, I really still want this, the improved guidance system. But it's unfortunately a mission to Saturn. I'm going to wait. I, I, don't want to, I don't want to, but I'm going to wait. I like this one too, unified engine design. It results in greatly reduced costs for basically adding supplementary boosters. Uh, it, that sounds really great. Uh, but again, this is Titan. It's Saturn. It's a long, 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 long time. I'd rather do a whole bunch of little missions uh, just to kind of keep our science up and... Uh, really take care of things at home right now right so uh basically i am going hard on the station right now actually so right here modular space station one is what we're going to be working on there's no mission slots here but we're going to do that as soon as we are done with our next mission which is right now next mission phase ready Phobos photography is ready to rock so let's go ahead and take a look at it and this will get us now, I could auto-resolve this, which is kind of interesting. Um, success chance on an auto-resolve, 68%. Outstanding success, getting the bonus reward, is a 30%, with only a 2% chance of failure. But the thing is, I like doing the missions myself. You know, I, I normally do. I love doing the missions myself. Um, I think it's a really, really great thing. And especially when you want to get the bonuses, because... 30% chance, I feel like I personally have a better than 30% chance of doing it. So we're going to go ahead and continue this ourselves. But I, I may try that feature out uh, for the little stuff where we know we have really high reliability and it's not that important. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I might try auto resolves just to kind of speed up things a little bit. Um, missions that don't necessarily matter that much. Okay, so we are looking at uh, 6, 6, and 12 as our ultimate goal. And we have four turns to do it with three actions per turn. So, uh, starting with five power, not that great. Uh, we're going to want to wait and hit this. We need to hit it three times if we do it all in the final turn. Uh, or four times elsewise. So, I'm going to aim for that. Uh, doing that uh, three times if we can. Let's start off with getting a little bit of comms units. Follow it up with some manual thrust adjustment. And I think we'll... Uh, you know, actually, I think I'll spend one and one and get five on that. Seems like a good turn to me. And our typical progress bar hanging out at the left side of the bar. Good to see you back. 
<laughs> nah, it's fair. It's fair. All right. So next thing to do is, uh, I mean, really, we're basically done already. I mean, this is this isn't that difficult. Um, let's let's stock up a little bit on some of these data modules because we're gonna need this for this. So now we can hit it three times with the data modules that we have. So that's great. Um, so let's uh, we'll go ahead and spend two power here. I think. Yeah. Let's spend the two power here. Uh, to get ourselves boosted up a little bit on nav modules. Very good. Barely. As long as you're in the blue, I'm okay with it. Okay? Okay. Now, to hit this three times, we're gonna need a s we're gonna need an overage of comms. So I'm gonna just uh pop mm, no, I need I can't spend this either. Charge and i think we'll go with you yep and then charge again this gives me no overage actually not enough overage i need this um so what i could maybe do is do this and then um this and then this that gives me the overage I need yes that gives me the overage I need to get all the thrust I need next turn and complete the objective so let's go perfect beautiful Okay, last thing is just to hit that thing three times. So, one, two, three. We have one resistance here. And as long as we don't lose thrust, or it doesn't take away multiple nav units, we should be all right. So, let's go. Good. And good. One more time. Okay, we can resist it. We have one power, so that's all, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. It tries to take only one comm away from us, and it doesn't really matter. But just because we have the power, we're going to use it. There we go. That's going to be a mid-course maneuver. Got to alter our course just a little bit there, I guess. Okay, good. Yeah, I thought that was going to be the end of the mission. Apparently not. We'll go to the next month. The Hubble, Hubble, Hubble telescope is going to be done, dude. I'm really excited about it. Um, just give me one second. Let me make sure nobody else is going for Hubble. And it looks like nobody else is going for Hubble. That's exciting. We're going to get another one. We're going to get Modular Station first. We're going to get Hubble Telescope first. Uh, I think we're going to get this station first as well. And then, um, you know, maybe we can go back for some of the ones we missed after that. Things like the Venus orbit. And, uh, I mean, we're already going for the Mars lander. And after that point, then we can start heading towards Jupiter and all that stuff. And I'm just imagining a reality where the ESA fails on one of those long-range missions. It's like three years of commitment just to fail. It would, oh, that would suck. Hubble research complete. Large, advanced space telescope capable of capturing images across multiple spectra and in exquisite detail. Very good. Uh, for the next research, I think we actually will go, uh, you know, you know, Pluto flyby is not that big. Maybe we will head down vehicles for a bit. I think I can, I'm okay with heading down vehicles, but additional contractor sounds actually pretty good. So why don't we try to like clear some of these out? Um, we'll start with the big ones, I guess. Start with, and then we can start getting down here too. Why don't we start with, um, actually, no, we want to do era two, right? Yeah, let's just do era two. We'll, we'll start clearing out some of these ones here just to get through it. Easy. And uh, one thing I think the game could really use and um, I know most people will probably agree with me on this. Anything that has, uh, I should have put this in my recommendations video that I typically do, but um, one, of the, one of the features I wish it had also was is queuing research. Again, I, I kind of repeat this in every game and in every game I play, it seems. It's just, it's just, I don't know, developers just don't think of these kinds of things, but any action that a player 
needs to do repetitively over and over and over again, you need to allow them a way to do it in bulk. I'm just saying it's just a quality of life thing. In any instance in which I have to do a repetitive action over and over and over again, please allow me a way to do it in bulk. Uh, a great way to do this is the way like civilization does it, right? Where you can just queue them up in order. And if you finish one, you automatically start the next one in your queue. I, I love that. Just a queue system would be good. I'd allow me to go boom and then hit this. But now it says changing research. I don't want to change research. I want to just queue it up to be number two. You could put this little beaker thing. I love that animation. That could be the one I'm currently working on. And then you have like maybe like a little one here, a two. Uh, I'll put this one three, four, five, six, etc. And let me queue up like 10 of them if I can. Um, Surviving Mars does the same thing. It's a fantastic way of just like giving me a way to look good and to do a roadmap myself one go. And then off we go to the next thing, right? Skylab damaged. Uh-oh. An impact from orbital debris has caused a severe electrical issue in the space station Skylab. The crew estimates the loss of power will result in a reduction of eight months of science from the mission. Ouch. However, astronaut Jane Donatano, Don, Donato has volunteered to perform a spacewalk to repair, to repair the damage on the station's exterior. Your mission team believes this is a, has a good chance of restoring power, but warn that it will be a high-risk EVA due to the live electricity running through the systems. As such, there is a chance Jane will be injured in the attempt. Injured is fine. Approve. <laughs> uh, to attempt repair, she will conduct an EVA and attempt to repair the damaged systems. Mission Control will work with our engineers to prep the crew on the repair and, rep and report back on the result of the EVA. Oh my god. I'm glad the budget review was, you know, before that happened. Dude, that's huge progress to the next level though, isn't it? Ah, Titan 2 research is done as well. And now we get to start our Mars lander. Here's our payload, 50, negative 50% 50 build time for anything that's a level zero vehicle part. You're trying to promote me into bad habits, aren't you? All right, so our solar observatory is doing really well as long as it can get off the launch pad. It had terrible launch reliability due to one of the mission parameters, reducing it by 25%. I did as much as I possibly could with reliability training on the launch to bring it up to times five months, 15%. So this is all we could possibly get for this. Let's go. And then I think once this is done, we're going to look for stage, uh, the next stage of our station. Uh, or, or, or we could go for Hubble because nobody else has really done a station yet. I don't really think. Uh, maybe the, did the Russians do it? Maybe the Russians did a station. I don't remember. Either way, though, uh, I think this is great, though. Plus nine. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah. We even I even put in the reinforced tank walls to help with it. Like that, it was really bad on the base. Um, yeah, let's go. Seventy-two percent sucks, but I've seen. I've had I've had worse odds. Success? Success. Okay. Okay. And it looks to me like we got a nice neutral, nominal launch. Nothing special. The redstones all go up to f number four now. I guess I could have done a little better, but it would have cost a lot more money. I did use the redstone parts on that. So it was a little bit of a risk, but I'm glad this worked out now. Okay. So we have to deal with drift. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, we control it completely. And we're looking for 12 comms, four and four on the others. That's pretty surprising. Well, we can clearly get pretty heavy on the other ones. And we can use those other ones maybe here. This is a pretty good one. So why don't we go for you, then you, then you off the start. Give ourselves a little bit of a jump start. Now that we have comm units, we can use them to get a bunch of the other ones and then use them up. So I think we can use um, this one 
And then we'll get more of these and then get more of those. Now we're up to nine. Okay, we got to be careful on the next one. This is within range, but the next turn we really have to buckle down and ensure that we're uh, in a position. You know what I mean? In a position for success. Assume, assume the position for success. <laughs> um, I want this, this, this. And then we will use our two overage here to get that. And then our one overage here to get that. And then power. That will be their next turn. That should give us everything we need without affecting drift. As long as we have power. It looks like we will. Unless we fail this one too. Okay, good. An extra data is huge. That makes it way easier, actually. And that's even... Okay, that's great. All right, so now we just need to basically just pay for this. So we're going to hit this, and then we'll be sure to resist it, and then we're just good to go. Let's go. Excellent. Doesn't matter. We got the power. Do it, and success. So the launch was... The launch was kind of the most nerve-wracking part of that short little mission, just because, you know, it, it was a really low reliability to start. So I'm glad it worked out in the end. Um, I think we're going to just go for... We only have two more left, and then we unlock the additional contractors. So let's just hit this, and we're going to go to active missions. The Mars lander is ready. The, the launch vehicle is ready to build now. We do want to do pretty well on this, you know. Um, we, we definitely want, you know, success here. Uh, and we want to we don't want to mess around with launch reliability so I want all all my efforts all my upgrades to go into the payload so we're gonna use the Atlas just so we have a really high starter here and then I think we're going to hit the science pretty hard on this we'll go an extra six months on the mission and we'll get this valorous the just that's an interesting name we would have less build time for level zero parts but I don't want to mess with I, I want great reliability for the rover for the it's not even a rover it's just a static lander but i want it so go all right the next mission then is where is it earth milestones we can either do the space telescope or modular station one now both of these are awesome and we could probably just do both of them at the same time because i think we'll yeah phobos photography's next phase is next month and then also the subsurface penetrators phase is two months from now. So we could basically do both of them at the same time, provided we have the money. So going along that note, which one is going to cost us the most to do? And I, I feel like it's probably modular station. However, do I have... I do, right? I have the... The shuttle's back, right? Pretty sure the shuttle's back. Plan the mission. And um, we have Modular Space Station 1 or International Space Station. Whoa, cool. But these are two separate missions? Complete this installation to receive the following reward. Oh, I see. Do this first. Once I've got it all done, do it second, then do the third one. And then I'm allowed to do this. And then I'm allowed to do this one. And once you complete this one, then you get these monthly rewards. Perfect. We're going to do this one then. So here's our payloads. Look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. What am I going to have to do? This looks so intense. Look at that. Achieve Earth, or Earth Orbit is 20, which means the bonus will be 40 of them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want more power. I think I might pay for the power, but look at how expensive it is. Oh, my God. It's so pricey. Um, are you sure you want to pay for the power, Charlie? Are you sure? Because it's kind of 1.2 million more. For three more power, though, it's a lot of power. Three more power, I mean. I mean... You know, we need data on all of them, too. Maybe if we get a better data module... 
if we get the better data module, then perhaps it will be easier to get the nav if I don't have to worry so much about, you know, the data. I really don't want to pay that 1.2 million more. Let's get the observation. Although, I mean, this is good, though. 76%. I think we're going to get this, though. Let's get this. This is the Zarya. It's a three-person crew on for this. And uh, it's 2.4 million to build it. Yeah. I think so. Gosh, the power, though. Think of the power, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, but then we can't do the telescope. Let me double check and make sure nobody's doing the telescope yet. Nobody's got the tech for it. What are they doing? Like, what are you guys doing? All right, you know, I, I think, I think we're gonna go for it. Zarya can be there, and uh, it's expensive, but I have better, better data modules which are in both tiers. So I'm hoping that ha by having data be easier to get, it'll be, you know, therefore easier to get uh, to focus on the nav. We'll see. Let's go. All right, we're starting that now. That's crazy. That's crazy. EVA repair successful. Astronaut Jane Donato has performed a courageous EVA. She's, the, she's just the all-around American hero. This woman needs multiple medals, thank you. Uh, to repair damage to the space station Skylab, the repair was successful, preventing any loss in science output from the station. She was quoted saying, it was worth the risk, just for the view. <laughs> the astronaut later told the mission control. Titan 2 research is done, and now the next phase of Phobos is ready to go, but we are gonna choose the final engine in this tier, and that is the Saturn IV. And by this, we'll get two more contractors, I'm not entirely sure like what that means for me but um like whether they're gonna be any good or not i hope they're good it takes extra step to get them so i hope that's good uh looks like we have 91 percent chance of success on this but it's phobos so i gotta do it myself let's go okay we're near the near the moon or near the moon near mars i, I want the, I want Mars's moon. Where's the moon of Mars? Where's Mars's moon? You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. Uh, we've got 4, 8, and 12 to do. We start with 2 power here. And we'll use 1 power... You know, let's get that, and then we'll use 2 power on this. I hate having only 1 power left over, but... With really high reliability, I feel like sometimes you can trust the game to just give you the right odds. Sometimes. <laughs> and by the right odds, I mean those which land in my favor. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Still have one power to hold me over in case I need to resist. Which almost, it looked like it was going to be that one. Oh, good, good. Okay, so now we have two turns left. We've already met the requirements on this one. And it's pretty easy to meet the other ones. Just recharge and pay for it and recharge. And then we'll just next time just pay for it. Yeah. We'll just pay the power to get it. Yeah, so don't, now we'll just recharge pay for it and recharge again this will satisfy the bonus go sometimes the puzzles are easier sometimes they're real wicked you know like i think it's it's more like the difficulty of the mission right like um like at this point in the, at this stage in things having one of our satellites go and you know go get into martian orbit right it's like, we've done this many times, so it should be easier. But like launching a station is not something that our program has done before. And so the puzzles are a lot more complex because the operation of doing this is a lot more complex, right? Which I, I love that. I, I think that's really cool how they've done that. I love it. Um, Earth, hi. 
view plan uh, telescope. Let's plan this mission. Now, we're not going to be able to launch this uh, just yet. But I do want to plan it because it's awesome. So this is $2 million. And if we want more power, we get it. We could only have to spend 400K. I think we, you know... I think we go for the more power on this. This is the freaking Hubble Space Telescope, all right? We're gonna we're gonna make sure we put some power on this thing. Um, and so far, nobody's got the science to do it, so I think we're gonna be good there. Next phase of the subsurface penetrator. Uh, yeah, we can't pay, we can't do that one yet. Next phase of the subsurface penetrator. Now the subsurface penetrator, right? That's paying us a ton of cash, so we can use that to fund Hubble. Additional contractors are now available. Uh, our knowledge of countless variations of rocket technology will create more opportunities for private contractors to construct our vehicle parts. Cool. And the next maze, uh, mission. Okay. Okay. So Japan's going Mars lander. Wait. China just completed space station. What are they working on? I haven't seen anything for a long time. What are you guys doing? I mean, granted, I know ES. I know what ESA is doing. Like ESA is, like, all about, like Jupiter right now, and uh, they went to Saturn too. Like they're going the big, the long planets, right? And we have a great relationship with them too. Not so much with China. We are friends with Japan, and we are getting the benefits from that, which is nice. Uh, and we are also antagonistic with Russia, and we are getting the benefits of that, at least a little bit of that. What is, what are they working on? Mars orbit. You're doing Mars orbit. China's doing a Mars flyby. So they're kind of catching up on the things they're, they're behind on, right? They're playing catch up right now. The things they didn't get first in that they weren't racing for, they're kind of doing those, which is mostly what I was doing. But I, I snowballed my science quite a lot. And uh, as a result, well, I'm able to get way ahead of you guys a little bit, I think, on that. Um, so Zarya is there. We could do module two, but I think maybe we look into Jupiter now. We've got a lot of mission slots. We could do Jupiter. We'd be second, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of science. Or we can look at buildings. If Jupiter is not that important to us right now, we probably won't be first unless they fail. If the ESA fails, let's get it just in case ESA fails. Wow. We're just going to get this in a month too. Hold on. What's important to get, like, right now? I mean, we can get Neptune. We get Neptune, and then we can go Grand Tour if we want to. Oh, my God. We could do Grand Tour if we want to. Or we could just go right for the station. I mean, frick, dude. We just get the station right now? That's crazy. We build the International Space Station, and it's ours. Feel like that's gotta be what happens right with all the science we have here we could have anything we wanted neutral buoyancy lab to get the tier two astronauts uh water sound suppression improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad uh how about both yeah 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 hmm ten thousand science we could go. We can go halvesies on that right now. Halfway to get there right now. No cost to moving buildings. <gasps> oh, that's so good though. I need that. I need it. <laughs> I gotta move all my buildings later, dude. I need that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Space science library. What do we? What do we want? Maybe more vehicles. It makes us more capable. If we're gonna go to Neptune and do the Grand Tour and stuff, we should probably have these things. Right? Maybe we hit this. I feel like it's a waste, though. We should hit something that's really hard to get, and we should hit it really hard right now. Which is why I'm thinking we go this way. We could just launch the station straight up, man. X-ray telescope. Grand Tour is a, a huge thing. We could just grab Neptune flyby. Screw it. I'm going to do this one. I'm going for mission space modular space station too. I think we get we get the station first. That's just like that's a huge bit there, you know? It's really good. So I feel like we gotta do that. Okay. 
Soft service penetrator. This gives us a ton of money. We get that money. We put it into Hubble right away. So uh, let's go. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Uh, there's usually a natural, uh, you know, a any serial player. Um, that's what I am, by the way, a serial player. I, I play, I, I play games in a series-based format. I, you know, episode one, two, three, etc. Any serial player knows that uh, there's a huge sort of fall off in viewer interest the longer a series goes on. Uh, so if you're still sticking around, just know I appreciate you. I'm glad you haven't lost interest yet. I know I haven't lost interest yet, and. Uh, this is something, you know, this is something. There's a lot of, there's a, quite a few Steam reviewers that are just like, this game gets boring after half an hour. Going to Saturn. One review said, going to Saturn, it feels the same as landing on the moon. The guy's got six hours of playtime. You didn't go to Saturn. <laughs> like, don't give me that bullshit. You didn't go to Saturn. You don't have, you have six hours of playtime. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm going like, Let's go like this, and then we're going to spend, we're going to be spending power on this turn for sure. Let's bring the heat all the way down, actually. All right. We got great reliability on this craft, so I don't anticipate having to, um, having to resist too many of these. You know, maybe one. Statistically, one. <laughs> that's, that's what we should be doing. Uh, okay, so we need to keep it under four over, under four heat. So technically, we're all right here. Um, all I really need... I need a lot of comms. So why don't we hit... This is like really hard to get comms. You only get a maximum of two each time. So... I'm going to use this to bring down the heat. That gets me the comm. One comm, anyway. Uh, and then we're going to use... You to get comms. And then you to get comms again, I think. No, we'll use you to get comms because we're way over on this. Actually, let's go. Let's do, mm. Yeah, let's use let's use you to get comm. This is better. Go. And we're bringing down the heat at the same time. So. I do admit, though, right? It, it does take a certain kind of player, a certain kind of gamer, to enjoy a game like this, right? Same thing with the video series. You know, I've had comments on numerous series. This one's no exception where on the very first video, you know, people will see that I haven't really launched a rocket in like 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes, there's like no rocket launches. And it's just sort of that sense of the, the entitlement of wanting instant gratification for things, right? We live in an era and anyone who plays these games for a partial living anyway on YouTube knows we live in an era where people have no attention span at all like you got to capture people right away and it's a hard knock life for people to try and to try and to figure that out um but once you do if you can figure that out and find a way to to do it and i'm not really referring to clickbait that's kind of a, a different thing but if you can find a way to capture people's attention right away you'll have a way easier time keeping their attention for 10 minutes 15 minutes etc but it's it's that's the job, man, you know? That's the job. 4.1 million. That easily funds Hubble. So let's go ahead and uh, make that happen. What's up, Hubble? I almost, I, I am putting the power in this. I'm putting max power, 12 power on this. The phases are nine and nine, five and 13. We're gonna have crazy good power here. Yeah. Let's go. Hubble Space Telescope. Let's go. All right. And now when we hit the next month button, we're going to get like halfway done with Modular Station 2 as well. And then I feel like... I feel like that's still a good idea. Part of me thinks it's not because we get the reduction. If we just go to the robotic rover first, right? Then we get this reduction. In mission costs. But that robotic rover is here. So, I mean, we need to go down this path anyway. We need one out of three. So we need to have Galileo and this to go into here. Right? 
So in theory, like this is the goal that the game is telling me to go to to get that mission completion and get this, you know, get it cheaper. But doing this is a prerequisite to doing this. So I, I think at the at the end of the day, I am still working towards that goal anyway. So let's go. We're gonna get more than fifty percent progress on the modular space station too right now. Hit it next month. We're almost done with it completely. And then, boom, Modular Space Station 2 research is now done. As part of the ambitious project to construct a modular space station in low Earth orbit, we'll need to launch a module containing systems and instrumentation integral to maintaining the station. This module will be able to connect to any existing or future modules. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Gets good unity. And uh, Zarya and Valeris both Valorous. <laughs> Valorous. Either way. Zarya and um, Valorous are both done in the same month. It's going to be a wild ride there, isn't it? Do I have time? Oh, I don't know. Like, we have, what, 35 minutes in this video already? This is... Eek. Taking, uh... I have a free mission slot. You know, I could. Once I have Unity, I can just do this again. We're going to be launching space station stuff. Like, the space station is just something we are going to be constantly assembling, you guys. This is crazy. Look at this. Somebody wants to give me $5 million. Hey. Hey, did you know? Somebody wants to just give me $5 million. Did you know that? <laughs> Agencies propose international collaboration. The other four major space agencies have approached your agency, proposing international collaboration in the construction and use of your prospective modular space station. Accepting the proposal would grant your agency $5 million towards future mission costs, though your advisors note that the other agencies would receive significant science from gaining access to the station. Here's the thing. The only agency that I really don't like is the Soviets. <laughs> but they're, I mean, like, in the game. I'm okay with the Soviets in real life, okay? Um, but um, in the game, I'm just like, you know, I got a little bit of that. So the other, all the other ones, I don't really mind too much with all the other ones. But the other thing is, you know, five million is not all that much. It's not really that much, you know? But they're going to, I'm going to put all the effort and the work into the station and you're just going to get used, get to use it whenever you want for 5 million. Should we be like really, you know, nation first about this significant science from gaining access to the station. I mean, then again, I do want to build facilities. And I want to go and do all the big, expensive missions. Uh, I think the spirit of the International Space Station, in, in real life and everything, I know this is a game, but I think the spirit of the International Space Station probably demands that I hit this button even if they didn't pay me. So I'm going to accept. We get 25 reputation with the other agencies and five million dollars space station will benefit all humans an agency spokesperson stated and as such all nations should be able to contribute contribute and benefit from it now five million dollars is a lot okay but this module alone cost me more than half that so i don't know if that's proportionate to the cost of this place <laughs> But like I said, I think the spirit of the International Space Station and the space program in general demands that I that I hit that button, so I will. Uh, an interagency collaboration project spearheaded by our PR office has granted access to all agency-affiliated contractors for the launch vehicle. All agency-affiliated contractors are available. Okay. Does this mean I get to choose from a lot of a lot of agencies? Uh, mission operations team have proposed a training focus on error response and recovery, which should benefit launches in suboptimal conditions. Suboptimal launch windows increases mission training bonus by 
Ooh, it's encouraging me to launch in the in bad. Ooh, kind of like that actually. That way I can get like a big old chunk in science reward. You know what I mean? I want the payload reliability training here though, to be honest. So, and then we can go suboptimal here, and that will just make the payload really good. Right? This makes the payload reliability go like 90 something percent, actually. So, that's pretty solid. Yeah, 96% if this goes like off without a hitch, which is kind of cool. Um, it's going to be 70% on the launch, but if it's a nice sunny day, we might get 75 on it. I'm going to go. That's like almost. Almost a perfect payload, you know what I mean? Modular Station 1, we've got a ton of money now. All agency-affiliated contractors are available. Good, because I'm sending Saturn, so you better have a lot. Um, No, I think we're just going to make the payload better. Thanks. And then who's the contractors? Whoa, there's a whole lot of them now. Uh, okay. Green Moon, thanks. Kind of Orbital. Nova Corporation. That's a significant decrease in time. In exchange for 20% of my reliability. Available due to diplomatic relationship with the Soviet Union. Which we don't have. But this particular thing lets all of them help us. We can make it more expensive in exchange for more science. Don't we already have one that does that, though? I thought we already had one that does that. Uh, Martin Spaceworks will give us this for an exchange for 16 months. Uh, Infinity Interorbital. I, I like this one because there's really not that much of a cost to it. It's just time, but we get more science. This one ups the payload reliability considerably. No, I like that. I like the one that just give, takes more time. Because we're not in a hurry for this one. This is our our, our lander on Mars. Our Mars lander. And we're not first on this or anything. So I'm, I'm okay with taking time. With this. Wait, no. This is our space station. Oh, even, even better then. Nobody's going to do this. So, um... Yeah. Okay. Go. Even more science from that. And then... Uh, yeah, we need to do all the things. So this is going. We could... Wait. Oh, no! That wasn't... Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. Because this... This is the space station. I could have used... I could have used the shuttle. I, I was configuring it thinking it was Mars. And then I even realized it wasn't, but then didn't realize I was in the sh shuttle. Frick. <sighs> Fine. Once Unity is done, we'll just send Unity up in the shuttle anyway. There you go. That's how we'll do it. Skylab crew return. NASA astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. The media has focused its attention on astronaut Jane Donato, whose EVA heroics in repairing damage to the station made them a household name overnight. It's the job, the astronaut explained, simply in a televised interview. Any one of us up there would have done it. I'm just the lucky one who got to enjoy the view and the fan mail. <laughs> 300 support for the modest Jane Donato. I think I've been calling her an American hero too much. Now it's starting to go to her head, I think. ESA shares payload upgrade. Due to your close relationship, the ESA has shared an improvement in guidance software that will be of direct benefit to your mo current modular space station one. Your payload reliability of Zarya in your modular space station mission has been increased by 10%, and I didn't have to do anything to get it. That's awesome. Thanks, ESA. I knew it was a good idea to share the station with you. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We're in the other green now. Yeah. 15% mission contributions. Uh, your close partnership with the ESA provides a large boost to science. 
ESA will also provide a far greater contribution towards joint missions. Um, I need a conference center so I can propose joint missions with the ESA. I kind of want to do that. kind of want to propose joint missions and stuff. I, I do. I really do. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to leave it here. In the next video, Hubble is complete. We're going to do that, and then I think probably the Mars lander. And then we get a funding review, which I got a feeling after the Mars lander mission is going to get us to the next tier. And certainly after Hubble, I think we'll get to the next tier. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Like the video if you liked it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.